In all three of the Broncos' games thus far, they've trailed heading into the fourth quarter. In two of those games, the Broncos got out to an early lead, only to squander it and have to battle back. On the road, these bad habits cost the Broncos. They dropped their first game of the season in Baltimore. But trailing at the top of every fourth quarter is a trend that has to end. For the Broncos, self-inflicted wounds have been the primary culprit. In two straight games, Case Keenum has thrown a red zone interception while failing to throw a passing touchdown. Leading the league with five interceptions, Keenum's play has to improve and be more consistent in order for Denver to avert disaster. On the other side of the ball, the Broncos have gone 37 straight games without allowing a 300-yard passer, but the secondary has been soft and predictable. Allowing opposing teams to complete high percentage throws underneath and over the middle has neutralized Von Miller in the pass rush. But if the Broncos can play to their team's strengths and focus on the running game, pass rush, and defensive line, they'll have the chance to bounce back from their first loss. But if they're going to even be competitive in Week 4 against the juggernaut Kansas City Chiefs, Denver has to play more disciplined and consistent so that the game is not out of reach by the fourth quarter. For Mile High Huddle and 24-7 Sports, I'm Chad Jensen.